And it's also discussions about the process, right? The tools and the process, not necessarily the numbers and not necessarily the goals, but the the but really the, the process of how do you achieve that? So, so let's, um, so maybe Nicole, why don't you take on the why it matters section? Maybe just restate kind of why it matters, you know, the next site. Sure. So financial literacy is defined as the ability to use knowledge and skills to manage one's financial resources effectively for lifetime financial security. Financial literacy is more than knowing financial facts. It is also understanding and applying this financial knowledge to the parts of our lives that depend on sound financial management, managing monthly bills, budgets, credit cards, and loans, having a savings plan for the future, deciding where to live and buying a first home, getting married and providing for a family, or starting a business and planning for retirement. Without a stable foundation of money management skills and an understanding of financial issues, individuals are less able to optimize their welfare and are more vulnerable to making questionable investments or to exploitations. This can even have larger repercussions on a state and national level as it can lead to higher safety net usage, social safety net usage, inability to achieve financial independence, and overall lower quality of life for society, communities, and families. And if we as citizens are not financially responsible, how can we hold our elected officials accountable to manage public finances? Starting by familiarizing yourself with this glossary of financial terms, or to test your own financial, you can test your own financial uh, literacy knowledge with a quiz that's embedded in the brief. 